I'm starting off by drawing a bright red line in grease paint on the area I want to apply my fresh scar. You can use any kind of paint for this. I'm using my finger to soften it and I'm applying some extra paint on certain areas. This will make more sense later in this video. For my scar I'm using a product called Artex. This is a silicon paste made by Kryolan that consists out of two parts you need to mix together. You get to use equal parts of A and B and mix them for a couple of seconds. For this tutorial I used very little of both parts. As you can see here I took a pea-sized amount of the product and I put it on the red line I've drawn before. I always mix very little of the product so that I can make one or two bumps. This product dries pretty fast so you don't want to mix a big amount in one time. Just take your time and mix a new batch whenever you apply a new bump on top of the red line. When you apply the Artex you want to blend out the edges with a small spatula, wipe off the excess product around the bump as much as possible and look at the bump from all sides to make sure it blends into the skin. When the Artex is starting to dry I use my spatula to cut a line in the middle. You want to repeat these steps until you have covered the whole line. I had to make 7 bumps to create my scar. I use pictures of real operation scars to get a better idea of the shape. It mostly consists out of small bumps. This is the skin that has been sewn together. It will make more sense once I add the thread in the next step. I wanted to make this kind of scar for a long time now and I tried it with different materials, but nothing looked as real as this one. A prosthetic piece would probably be the best option of course, but I always try to make my tutorials rather simple and affordable. Um, I can't really suggest another product that will give the same result, except for silicon paste by a different brand of course. Um, the Artex one I'm using from Kryolan is about 25 euros, which may sound expensive, but I do think it's worth it because you really need very little of this product. Um, I used a cheaper brand of silicon paste in my previous video, which is my splinter tutorial. The silicon paste I use there is cheaper, but works exactly the same and looks great. Um, these are the only two brands I have used before, but I'm sure there are other options out there. Artex dries pretty fast, but give it some extra time, because you don't want to ruin it in the next step, which is adding some translucent powder. The translucent powder sets the product and takes away the shine. While the Artex was drying, I cut some small pieces of black thread, which I will be gluing in between the bumps now. The skin glue I'm using dries matte, I'm using a needle to apply the glue, but feel free to use a toothpick instead. I also made little knots that I will stick on the thread afterwards. Now you can actually see what the scar looks like. The next step is to add some color. You can use grease paint to do this, just make sure you apply very little product. I'm actually using an alcohol activated paint because I wanted a very light wash of the color. I'm using a soft brush to apply this in a stippling motion. Now I already knew that the alcohol takes off the Artex, but I used this paint anyways because I like to take risks. 
The Kraylon website says you can use alcohol activated paints on the Artex, which confused me even more. So be careful if you are using this kind of paint. Grease paint would be a safer option um, because I noticed that my edges started to lift while I was using the alcohol. So that's not cool. Um, I'm using a plum color and a dark purple. The plum makes the wound look more irritated and the dark purple I mostly used around the stitches. I also added some yellow inside the bumps. As always, the last step is to add some blood. I took a blood that dries on your skin because you don't want the wound to look too fresh. Um, I applied some around the scar in a stippling motion and I used a small brush to apply some around the stitches and inside the wound. I added one extra product um, which is a yellow wound gel by Makeup Online. Um, it makes the gaps look extra juicy, so that was a nice extra touch. Um, in the last shot right here, you can see me showing that the product and the whole design is pretty flexible and you can do whatever you want with it. Just don't use too much alcohol. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, suggestions or requests, feel free to contact me on YouTube, Facebook or Instagram and I'll see you guys until next time. Bye!